So this video is going to show you how to import survey points into AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016 and bring in a map behind those survey points. Um, so first I want to point out that you do need to have AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016 or later. Uh, 2014 no longer supports bringing in maps behind your survey points. If you don't have the 2016 version of AutoCAD yet, uh, just talk to IT and they should be able to get it to you. Alright, so right here I just have a, a blank document up. It just has model space, um, just has a blank layout. If you don't have something like this, you can download one from the SharePoint and then you don't have to play with all of your paper settings on your layout. So to get to it on the SharePoint, you're going to go to our new Oops, our New Mexico SharePoint. You're going to go to the North Area, Engineering, AutoCAD, Typical Drawings, AutoCAD Drawing Templates. It should be right here as an NRCS blank template. And that will bring up this file that just has a blank model space and a, a sample layout page. You can create multiple copies of this layout page if you need to. Alright, so we're going to go over to model space. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit our draw drawing settings. So you're going to go to your command line and you're going to go edit drawing settings and hit enter. This is where, going, where we're going to set the coordinate system for our drawing, which should match the coordinate system of the survey you took. So for the survey I'm bringing in, I'm going to go to USA, New Mexico, and then this drop down here, I used NAT 83 New Mexico State Plains East Zone US Foot. And this is going to be whatever your particular survey was shot in. Uh, I'm going to select that and then I'm going to hit apply. And then I hit OK. Alright, so now I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to insert points from file. I'm going to click this. So now I'm going to go find my file. So under selected files, I'm going to press the uh, plus symbol here. I'm going to go find my file. Alright, so this should be here. Now, one thing to remember, so this one is a CSV. Um, I tend to keep my survey files as CSV files. Um, so you want to download the CD CSV, and you hit open. Alright, so the next thing is your point file format. Um, if you're using one of our Trimble R10s, it's going to be this PNEZD, which is your point, northing, easting, elevation, and description. And then I'm going to choose comma delimited because it's a CSV. And then I'm going to hit OK. Alright. So it should have all the points. Now if I want to you know, zoom to where I can see all the points, I just go to my command line and put ZE for zoom extents and hit enter. And it should bring up all of my points. So now what I want to do is bring in a map behind these points. So I'm going to go up to the top to this geolocation tab on the right, and I'm going to click geolocation. Right here where it says map off, I'm going to drop this down, and let's say I'm going to put an aerial map behind it. I just click map aerial. And there it goes. It brings in a map behind my survey points. This is really useful when you just want to make sure the survey came in right, the survey looks right, everything is where it should be.
Now, if your survey points come in like this, and they're just little X's, you're not seeing all the descriptions you want. Um, you'll want to just select some, which you can just click and drag a box. You can, you can just select a single point. It doesn't matter. So if I select a single point, then up here I should see this point group properties. I'm going to click this. And under point label style, I'm going to drop this down. And I'm going to say I want it to say the point number, elevation, and description. So I'm going to select that, hit apply, and hit OK. So now my number, elevation, and description should show up for every point. Also, if you have points that are close together, like these, it's really hard to read them. So you can go down to your scale down here at the bottom. And you can drop this and you can change the scale. So now I change the scale, they're a little bit easier to read. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a really cool trick if, say, you want to do your uh, layout view for your drawing. So you want your project layout. And you don't want to have to redraw it. Um, you just want to use this map that it brought in in the back. So what you can do in AutoCAD 2016 is you can actually make it so it prints this area with the background in it. So the old 2014, you couldn't print this background map. You could bring it in and you could look at it, um, but you could never print it. So now it has this capture area button up here. From here all the way to here. So then it creates this little area and it's going to save this. So if I still have more structures I need to design in this model space and I don't want this map on here anymore, I can now turn the map off, but it's going to keep the map where I captured that area. So now if I wanted to print this, I could go to my layout tab. If you're not using a standard template like this, your layout is usually going to be an 8.5 by 11, and you're going to have to go change, you'll have to go up here to this layout tab, and you'll want to go to your page setup and you're going to need to change it to the 11 by 17 and you'll have to get our layout template on there maybe from an old drawing. So in the layout tools you should be able to uh, uh, go over here and this is where you create viewports. If I click a rectangular viewport and I want it to be from here to here it should bring in my map. Now normally I wouldn't be printing this with all my survey points. I would maybe draw my layout on it. You know, it would have, you know, my pipeline and that would all be be all that I need to print. And then if you need to change what you're zooming in on in your layout, you just double click inside your viewport and then you can zoom in can zoom out, you can move it just like it's in the model space. Now let's say you captured this area but you really want, you don't want all this white space. You want it to show more of the map. So we can go back to the model space. You can grab this capture area and you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. That size it should show more of the map. All right. So that's just a really quick how-to on how to bring in survey points, how to bring in a map behind the survey points, how to capture an area to be able to print it, and also how to create a viewport inside your layout and bring that map with image inside of your viewport. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or reach out.